Hello everyone, I'm back and I'm gonna be doing a review today on the Vitamix. I'm gonna talk about the specs, how it compares to other blenders like the Ninja, and um, I'll have a smoothie recipe for you at the end. So if you're here to see a Vitamix review, just stay tuned. Okay everyone, so this is the Vitamix. The version that I purchased came with the pusher. So this is really good to use when you're making ice cream because it helps to push all the frozen fruit or vegetables into the blades. Um, it comes with this lid that has this part that you remove. So if you want to add ice, other things while you're making your recipes, you can. And then this is where you would put the pusher through. You can't put it straight in or get stuck in the blades, as I have discovered by accident before. And the other really cool thing about the Vitamix that's awesome is you can actually undo this part and take the blade out and replace it with different blades. You can get um, dough hooks, um, and I think there's like a spatula shaped accessory. You can go on um, Vitamix or QVC, which is where I purchased mine, to see what all the accessories are, but that's a really nice feature. Um, it makes it easier to clean. One thing that's really nice about the Vitamix is that it's self-cleaning. Because once you put um, this to high, it heats up. So after about 30 seconds or so. So um, that's why you can cook soup in it, um, make mashed potatoes, all that good stuff. And then you just put soap, water, put it on there, and it cleans itself, which is really, really, really nice. Okay. So now we're gonna go into a more detailed review of the Vitamix, um, but before I continue, I did wanna say that this is not a sponsored video. I paid full price for my Vitamix, so I paid for this with my own money. Price, Ninja wins. Ninja's the one, the model that I had, which was the Ninja Professional, and I can put the details of the exact model and specs in the description below. Um, but it was $99 and I purchased it. Walmart has the same one now for $79. So price is great. Price is amazing for the Ninja. Vitamix loses big time in this category. You can pay between $300 and $500 easy for the Vitamix. I paid $450. I got mine through QVC. The pros of the Vitamix, it makes smoothies so smooth. I'm very particular, I'm very picky about my smoothies. I can't stand when they're chunky or gritty. And the Vitamix wins hands down over the Ninja. Um, there's a significant power difference between the two as well. The Ninja's 1000 watts where the Vitamix, let me just double check my figures here. Um, but the Vitamix is 1380 watts. So, to me, I mean, I'm, I, I don't know enough about um, power and the difference if 380 watts, how significant of an increase that is, but um, when it comes to smoothness of smoothie, it wins hands down. Now, here's another thing I wanna say about smoothies. It also depends on what kind of smoothie you're making. If you're, if you're just doing a protein powder smoothie, you know, like putting milk, protein powder, maybe a banana and some peanut butter, it probably will work amazing for you. The kind of smoothies I make, I put lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. I do greens, I do berries, I do frozen broccoli, sometimes fresh broccoli. I do heavy duty smoothies. Like I need to have a high powered blender. The interesting thing I will say though, is that I feel that the Vitamix and the Ninja make ice cream about the same. And when I say ice cream, I mean nice cream, you know, a frozen banana based ice cream. I would say it did both about the same. I was very surprised. I would have thought it would have been the exact opposite. I would have thought they would have both been the same for making smoothies and had more difficulty making ice cream, but for whatever reason, they both are pretty comparable. Oh, one other thing, they're both dishwasher safe, so that's good if that's something that matters to you. Um, I would also say the Vitamix is easier to clean though because it can actually clean itself. Like if you try to do that with the Ninja, it won't heat up and it just it, it makes it, uh, it can make a mess. Um, the Ninja also has a core part inside and it's got multiple blades, which every time I tried to clean, I would almost cut myself every time I tried to clean it, unfortunately, it was, it was a pain. So there you go. 
Um, I think the Vitamix is completely worth the price tag. Um, it just, it's so easy to use. I have never had any problems with it. So I've had it for almost 10 years. I've had it for nine years. So I've had the Vitamix for nine years and it works fantastic. So if you're ready, now I will demonstrate the Vitamix and have my smoothie recipe for you. Here's what you're gonna need for the smoothie. One cup of juice of your choice, a cup of frozen broccoli, one banana, half a cup of blueberries and four to six strawberries, and one to two cups of spinach. Thank you for tuning in to my Vitamix review. If you liked this video or would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And I have all my social media info will be in the description bar below. I have Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz. So uh, thank you so much and have a good day. And <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. There's gotta be a secret getting this to work. <laughs> oh Lord, this is definitely going on bloopers or something. At the end of the video. Are you, are you gonna be okay? All right, <laughs> I'm worried about you, just a little bit. Okay. There's a high pitched noise. Don't open the blur, okay. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna be doing a review today on the Vitamix. I'm gonna talk about the specs, if it's better than under other, whoa. Okay, do that one again. <laughs> okay. Hello everyone, I'm back. 